Hi friends, welcome to biologyexamsforay.com. Today's topic of our discussion is difference between yak and back vector within 5 minutes. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe and support this channel. Let's begin. Both yak and back vectors are genetically engineered artificial vectors designed to clone large DNA fragments. A vector is any DNA molecule to which our gene of interest is integrated for cloning or transforming into the host cell. Difference number one, why the name? Yak vector is so called, it is called as yeast artificial chromosome. So this is the yeast cell. So this is the yak vector. It behaves just like an artificial chromosome inside yeast cell. It can replicate inside yeast. It is used to clone DNA sequences in yeast cells. It is developed by Burke and Oslan in 1987. Whereas back is called bacterial artificial chromosome. It can replicate inside bacteria. So this is a bacterial genome and these are the transformed back vectors. So it can replicate inside bacteria or the host is bacteria. It is developed by Welsimon and his colleagues in 1992. Difference number two regarding the components of the vector. In the case of yak vector it is having an ORI or origin of replication which is called as ARS or autonomously replicating sequence of the yeast which is essential for replicating inside yeast cell. Then there is a centromeric region which is needed for movement of yak to daughter cells. Then there are two telomeric regions. So this is a linear vector. So here there will be a cleave and this becomes linear. Then there are selectable markers like ampicillin resistance gene which is needed for selection of transformed cells. Then there are many restriction sites like ECOR1, PAM H1 for inserting our gene of interest. These are the major components of yak vector. Back vector is having an origin of replication, which is of bacteria. The original vector is P back 108L, the first back vector. There are many modifications. Then there are replication sequences, this replication E that is essential for initiation and assembly of replication complex inside the host. Then there is PARA and PARP which is called as partition A and partition B that is essential for movement of back vectors to daughter cells just like send regions in yak vector. Then there are selectable markers chloramphenicol resistance region that is essential for selection of transformed cells. Then this is the region where gene of interest is inserted which is having many restriction enzymes like hinted restriction site the NOT1 site, etc. Then there are two promoters, T7 and SP6 promoter that promote transcription of the insert inside the host. So this is the basic components of back vector and now we have many back vectors available that is modified based on the requirement. So this is a modified back vector which is called as back 2 there are many other sequences like there is a lacz region for the selection of transformed colonies. Then there is a cosite, etc. Difference number three. Yak vector is primarily based on regions of yeast chromosome. So the send region ORI all are taken from yeast itself. So what is happening is as you can see there are two telomeric region in this vector. So here is the restriction site for BAM H1. This cleave BAM H1, then we can insert our gene of interest in this region. So it become linear inside the host, just acting like an yeast chromosome with two telomeric ends for protection. So our gene of interest is inserted between this send for position and also between this URA3. So there is an enzyme restriction site, which is the enzyme in this SNAB1. So we, are, we have inserted our gene of interest in this site. So the vector becomes linear. Then we will be transforming this vector into yeast cell. 
so it just functions as each chromosome. Whereas back vector is based on fertility plasmid of E. coli. Difference number four regarding the insert size. In the case of yak, it can clone DNA fragments larger than 100 kb up to 3000 kb, whereas back vector can accommodate 150 to 350 kb of gene of interest. And finally, difference number five, applications and advantages. In the case of yak vector, it is used for the construction of physical maps and sequencing of different genomes. Both yak and back vectors are widely used. The major advantage of yak vector is the insert size. It can accommodate up to 3000 kb. But the problem with yak is it is less stable than back and produce chimeric effects. There can be some deletions in the clone sequence. There can be some inversions in clone sequence. So there are some problems with yak vector. At the beginning human genome project started with yak then because of these problems shifted to back vector. Whereas in the case of back vector, it is widely used in the making of physical maps and sequencing, especially in the preparation of maps of mus musculus mouse, then Arabidopsis thaliana, and even human genome project. It's more stable than yak and it is easy to manipulate compared to yak. But the major problem is the small insert size compared to yak. Now, both these vectors are widely used for the preparation of physical maps and sequencing of many genomes. And that's it. Thank you so much for your support. You are with biologyexamsforay.com. Please subscribe, share and like this video.